What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing great. Today I just want to show you guys a little quick tips and tricks on how I use After Effects and Final Cut Pro together simultaneously together. I am a Final Cut user. I am also an After Effects user which is a weird combination because normally if someone using After Effects they use Premiere Pro for their video editing and if you're using Final Cut Pro you're using Motion for your all your animations. And for me, I have been using Final Cut and After Effects for a long time, so I'm just in a weird combination. But throughout the years, I've been able to find a way to make it work. And so today, I hope to show you guys my way and how I do it. And hopefully, you guys could learn something from it today. And without wasting more of your time, let's get to it. Alright, so as you guys can see here, this is my folder. This is from the shoot that I did earlier this year in New York. And this is the folders for the clips and this animation. So all the um, After Effects file is going into this animation folder. And inside the folder, you want to create another folder. It's called Render. So this is where you render all your After Effects files. So let's jump into After Effects projects right here. In my video, I have this is as an outro. It's like blues and kind of like little red colors. And see if I want to change the colors of these. Just go to here. Let's go to my strokes. Say I want to change to bright red. And all to do is just just that and go to compositions, render. Go to render, go to animation folder, and render folder. And most important thing is you want to make sure the um, file name is the same as the one that you're using. So that's the most important part. So you go to your render file. Control. So when it's finished, just go back to the folder, and you can see right here. This is the um, the one we just rendered. Just drag it and put in these animations right here. Drag. And what you want to do right here is to replace it. Boom. That's all. That's it. And it's worked every time. It's just one step further from Premiere Pro because it, when you save it in Premiere Pro and After Effects, it chain right away. So for it to work in Final Cut, you just have to save it and drag it into that folder. That's it. And if I want to change it back, go to my. So I'm going to change it back to blue. Render, did the same thing, go to the render folder, the most important part is you had to make sure it is in the same name. Let's go back to the folder, let's try this animation folders, and it's a render, just drag it, drop it here, replace, and boom, let's go back to blue. And it's worked for everything, for just the outro, or you can use it for the lower third animation as well. So, um, I'm not planning on doing this, but let's just create one um, right now. So, over here is I have, this is my first video that I make. Um, I have me sitting down saying I don't have anything at all. But let's see if I want to create a lower third um, for this um, particular videos right here. So I go to After Effects. New compositions, say this lower third. Make sure it's the same size um, um, HD 1080p. Is that and say no. let's do a little quick animations right here. Layers, you Okay, so here we just make a um, little quick lower the animations. I'm gonna turn my backgrounds off so you can see it. So what you want to do, the same thing, 
back right here find a queue and this is the most important part if you're going to export a uh, file from After Effects and you want a transparent background you want to go to RGB plus alpha and that's it same thing right here lower third name go back to the folder animations Let's have my lower thirds right here drag it in Here, you can see right here. What's up, cool cat and kitten? Thank you. So, as you guys see here, it's animations. What's up? If you guys want to change it, um, all we do is just the same process go to After Effects, go to the composition, turn this back on so you can see what's going on. I want this to come up a little later, so we'll drag the keyframes out. Maybe I want my name to be in different color, say, I don't know, dark blue. And all we do is the same thing. Let's go to composition render. Just remember to make sure you always. Oh, way back. Let me go back real quick. Here, turn these things off. Edit again. Check. Make sure you click this right here so you can get a transparent background. File, just drag it here, replace, and boom, it just worked. I don't have to do anything else, it just changed in Final Cut Pro automatically. What's up, cool cat and kitten? Yeah. Alright, guys, this is it. I hope you got learned something from this video. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up, share the videos if you like, and comment below on what you want me to show next. Other than that, please be safe, wash your hands frequently, and stay home. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.